Greetings and welcome back to Tiger Dragon Storm's podcast, Ego Saying for Your Spiritual Enlightenment. Here is why you get sad. You get sad because you believe you are the one being sad, feeling sad. But this is not the case. We can verify that now. The experience of sadness is just that, an experience of sadness. You are the one saying, I am feeling sad. But are you the one saying, I am feeling sad? You see, you believe you are the one saying those words. But actually, is it not your experience that you are the experiencer of those words in your mind? Do you not experience those words pass through the mind, I am feeling sad? Of course you are experiencing the words. So sadness, happiness, joy, con- being confused, these are all experiences. Driving a car is an experience. Swimming is an experience. Getting married, getting divorced is an experience. The experience of experience cannot be the experience too. Because of course we have this distinction. We say I am experiencing a thing. Meaning something other than myself. On the deep, deep, deep level, all is you. But I'm not going to go there for this particular podcast. So let's talk about sadness. Because it is a dualistic, of course, experience. But the thing about this binary world is you always have a clue to see that if the world is binary, if experience is binary, then which one are you? Are you the experience or the experiencer? Experience itself cannot talk. It's something that comes and goes. Experience itself does not know another experience because it has gone. By the time the other experience, the next experience has started. So you can see right there that you are are the experiencer of experience. Thus, you are the experiencer of all experience, including the body, including the mind, the thoughts, memories, sadness. Just as people experience eating, you experience eating. You wouldn't say you are the food. Try to see that all is experienced. So who is the experiencer? Of course it is you. This is a no-brainer. I'm not trying to trick you. Of course it is you. But do you really understand that for you to be experiencing experience, then you cannot be who you think you are. Because who you think you are is the one saying, I am this, I am that. The identities. Sadness is another identity you latch on, as well as your given name, your religion. All of these identities are flimsy at best. Why? Because they can change easily. Sadness is not constant. Your name can change. You can change your religion. You can change all of these identities. So that which is flimsy cannot be the essence of you. That which is changing cannot be the essence of you because you are aware of the change. So sadness you can be not. Marinate in that. How beautiful is it to know that you have never been sad. (laughs) You cannot be sad. Experience of sadness, yes. But it's not you. And when I say you, hopefully by now what I mean, you know, what I mean is the you you've been taking yourself to be is not truly what you are, my friend. What you are cannot be seen, touched, heard. It is beyond the senses. How do we know this? Well, you are aware of the senses. 
whether they are working correctly or not. You are aware of it. Hearing does not know seeing. Seeing does not know taste. It is you that knows these different phenomena. You are so much more than you think you are. And so much less. So much less in that you cannot be seen. That true essence source that you are. So much more in that. Without you. When I say you I'm talking about consciousness. Because that's what you are. Without you nothing could be. That's how immense you are. Start to see and take yourself to be the experiencer. Of experience. Not the experience. Otherwise you will. Get lost in and trapped in the body. And the mind. And then truly believe you are suffering. And that you do not want. What you do want is to understand you are the experiencer of the body. The mind. Thought. Memory. The world even. Remember if you believe the world to be binary. If you are saying there's a me inside a world. A me inside a universe. Then you are agreeing that. For you, the world is binary, it's dualistic. So if it's dualistic, you must be that which is experiencing the experience, not the experience itself. You are on another dimension, my friend. And sadness cannot reach that dimension. And that dimension that you are always at is the same dimension that I and everybody is truly always being we are completely free. I hope this helps you a bit. Have a wonderful day or evening, my fellow expressions of consciousness. <laughs>